All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So I'm working on my uh, Yanmar tractor project. If y'all missed out, check out up here in the cards. I'll link to that video where we got this thing. But uh, I'm working on the injectors right now. I'm cleaning them up. And I know not many people are going to have a, a Yanmar um, tractor with these injectors. But I'm just going to make a video real quick to show y'all how to um, clean them up and what the deal is with them. That way, hopefully, it'll help somebody out who's working on one of these things. So y'all check this out. Alright guys, so here's the injector right here. Apparently these are really popular on boats. Um, yeah, if you have a Yanmar engine in your boat, you probably found this video. So I'm working on a tractor. It says E2 here. I'm not exactly sure what model number, you know, part number it is for this. I'll put links in the description to all that info. But basically I'm just cleaning up the injectors on this thing because we're trying to figure out why it won't start. So... The way this thing works is you have the little nozzle here. Um, if you wonder why I'm working where I am, it's because it's the cleanest part in the garage, honestly. So I don't want dirt getting down in these parts. Um, you have the little nozzle here, and it has that tiny, tiny little hole right there. And you just get in there with a toothpick. Um, stick the tip of the toothpick in there and just move it back and forth. And then, you know, I put in the ultrasonic cleaner and brake cleaner and just get it cleaned up. So after you do that, you know, clean this all up. This slides down in here. Then you have the needle, which is like super duper machined like perfectly to slide up in here. So you want to make sure the tip, apparently, you want to make sure that tip is absolutely perfectly clean with no carbon on it. So this one is, um, and it just slides. It needs to be able to slide freely up and down in this nozzle, and it is. So that's clean. Um, the next thing you got to do is screw this bad boy back down. Hopefully you have two hands. You just screw this back down. And then, uh, where's the other piece? This little piece right here goes down in there. It's a hole it slides up and down in. Then you have this little piece right here and the spring. So basically it goes like this. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand, but it goes in there like that. Um, and then you have some shims in the top of this on this one. There's a couple shims in here. Don't lose those obviously. So those shims go like that. And then, yeah, the whole thing just, and you just tighten it all back up. So, you know, tighten the bottom part and then tighten the top part and it's back together. So let me get this thing tightened up and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Uh, basically, it's all tightened down now. I know I didn't actually clean anything in this video. I just wanted to show y'all if anybody's working on one of these and it has this style injector on it, that, yeah, that's how it goes back together and that's how you clean it. Those are the, the spots you clean it. You want to make sure that that nozzle is, like, super-duper clean and the needle slides up in there. So that's it for this, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video or helped you out, uh, make sure to drop me a huge thumbs up down below and don't forget to comment and subscribe down there for more videos of me working on this tractor in the future because i'm gonna have a bunch of videos working on this thing and doing some crazy stuff with it so y'all stay tuned for that i'm out peace